Hello everyone! Welcome back to Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Last time, I... It happened yesterday, I can't, exa I can't exactly remember exactly what we did, but... I think one thing we started doing was we planned on helping out Agrippa. And we need to make a special tonic for him. Press the, press the J key and bring up the nose there. Uh... Let's see. One note speaks of a mixture with the ingredients. Oh, Agrippa channels where? So we need... Okay, yeah. We got Tamter. So the Paralyzer is from the Choir, and the Vite is from the, uh... Transept. It had gone too far. The man was suffocating as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look for the Damascus Rose Oil. Again, I'm pretty sure that the Damascus Rose... Okay. So, it told me... Hug the left wall... What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours. But now, you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. Okay. So, this area is a spe it's especially dangerous because I don't know if it's I don't know if it's one or the other or both, but ser gatherers servants will spawn here, and there is actually a large like gap in this room that if you're quick enough and. Basically, you can lure, uh, servants into falling off of them. Namely, servant brutes. <gasps> Don't fucking do that. Oh, and those death bells are here again. The forger stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip for just a moment. His knee jerked and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eye had ruptured and begun to leak. Yeah, Iron Maidens are not something you really want to mess with. I remember, I remember in the, uh, in the movie Despicable Me, there is a scene where... <gasps> Guys, it's a sharp piece. But before we pick it up, first off, we're gonna wanna have, uh... We're gonna wanna have this open just in case. Because chances are, a gatherer will come in here. Come in here. I remember in the movie Despicable Me, they, um, there was a scene where, uh, Gru was, like, showing the girls around, uh, girls, uh, Margot, Edith, Edith, and Agnes around his house, and Edith, uh, walked over to a Iron Maiden that looked a lot like a closet, because she found it cool, and when Gru tried to rush over to pull her out, the door, the door closed, and it made it look like blood was trickling out of the thing, making it look like um, Edith had been impaled. And then the door just opens up, and she and she's just standing there with a hole in her little little juice box. And she's like, "It poked a hole in my juice box." It was. <laughs> it was a, it was a little bit uh disturbing or whatever you want to call it, but it was also kind of funny. Okay, I don't see anything else in here. So, I'm gonna go ahead, pick up the shard piece, and hide in the Iron Maiden.
Interesting. Nothing? Are we good? Okay. What next? Exit the Iron Maiden room and move forward. You will pass a bridge to your left. Do not cross it as a monster lurks nearby. Continue moving forward until you reach the edge, then turn right and cross the first bridge you see to your left. I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I will know what that means when I get to it. Oh. Continue forward. Forward. You'll pass a bridge to your left until you reach the edge, then turn right and cross the first bridge you see to your left. Hey, this is the same title. This is the same music as using the game's title. Area slowly crumbling. So keep going. I want to make sure I, uh, know what I'm doing. Cross the first bridge you see to your right. Oh, no. Where is it? Oh, he's over there. I'm pretty sure those brutes are fast, too. Maybe she knows. Just quietly go over here. Hug the right wall. This is this is the one room in the level I've been like dreading the most. Simply because of how absolutely dangerous it is. Hell, for all I know, I could miss a tinderbox in here. But at this point, I think I'll just save that for for when I eventually do my, uh, or when slash if I do my Steam Achievements video. Hey, a Tinderbox. I, I imagine there's probably a Tinderbox somewhere near the middle of the room, but, uh, I know not where it could be. And I don't know if there's an achievement for completing the game without dying, but I'm certainly not about to risk it now. And if I do go for the achievement of going, uh, of like, trying to do everything I can in the game, even finding little hidden achievements. You can bet that the, t the tinderbox one, I'm just gonna cut to, presumably when I find like, the final tinderbox in the game. Or maybe just a montage of me picking up every tinderbox, I don't know. I will think of something. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them full between the frame. Ugh. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. That is so disturbing. 
these, I will say though, these were actual torture devices in, like, these are torture devices that do actually exist, or they did. There were things like, um, what was it called? Uh, fuck, what was it called? Ger Germata's, Ger something with a J, Germata's, something like Germata's seat, which was basically like this triangular thing that people would be forced to sit on while tied up or something. I don't know, it's, it's disturbing. I don't know if the game describes how it works, but, uh... Oh boy. Oh boy. The murderer's limbs were tied to the spokes of the wheel. They turned the wheel slowly, but with intent so the rope secured around his legs stretched and cracked the bone. He no longer had the strength to scream. The two men looked at each other knowingly and took a hammer and struck the victim's chest in a final act of mercy. That's just disturbing? Okay. Piece of orb. So that's two of three in this room. So where is it we came from? Okay, so... Alright, exit the wheel room and continue moving forward with the wall to your right. Once you come to the collapse... Okay, once you come to the collapsed pillar... Now, I don't know if, um... I don't know if... What was I gonna say? I actually just forgot. God damn it. Collapse pillar. right there. He's right fucking there. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Keep moving forward while hugging the wall to your right until you reach a room with a bunch of mushrooms outside. Break the largest one with your hammer. Tinderbox. Can I get on top? Keep moving forward while hugging the wall to your right. Oh, ew, no, get off, ew, gross, no, ah, get off my screen. Damn bugs. I don't have any oil in my lantern. Oh, I do, but just very, very little. Like, 
probably only a, like a like a drop or two. And then it goes poof. It just goes out. Here we go. Oh, that's a big one. Boom! Alright, sanity is nice and good. Any tinder boxes or anything? No? Alright. Now, I want to mention something. There is a game, there is like a, uh, an amnesia game that comes after this, that's like a DLC or something, called Amnesia Justine. I'm gonna be straight up with you guys, I do not plan on covering that. And there's a strict reason why. Amnesia Justine is not like Amnesia The Dark Descent in, in which, in regards of, you know, uh, progress being saved, because if you die in Amnesia Justine, the game, it just boots you from the game. It doesn't take you back to a checkpoint. And I don't know how I feel about dying so... Oh, that's a shard piece. I don't know how I feel about dying so close to the end and having to just redo the entire game. Now, if, if it's a short game, I can understand. But... I mean... I'll take a look at how short it is. But... Just know that if it's, like, harder than The Dark Descent, or if it's longer than The Dark Descent, I'm not gonna do it. I don't even know if I want to do it even if, it, even if it's short, just from, just from knowing that I could die and have to redo the entire game. The traitor did not know what to think of the brass bullet she was forced to enter it. Only when the heat of fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was to be his tomb. His screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instrument, which was the bull's head. Outside, the men could hear the brazen bull bellow. So, I don't know how many of you guys have seen have seen the Saw movies, but if you have, then hopefully you remember that scene in one of the movies where there was that giant furnace that had like a kind of syringe in it that, that was like an antidote. And one of the guys crawled into the furnace to try and pull it out, only to pull, on, only for it to be pulled on a string that like shut the door, or, or like he he tugged on the wrong string, and he had to crawl through the flames inside the furnace that he was in to turn off the flames, and he was cooked alive. That's kind of like what this brazen bull is. In in, in either case, it's like a very disturbing torture device. Any, anything inside? Nothing inside. Wait, can I actually... I could I don't know if I I don't know if I lit that last time. I think what makes this even more creepy is the fact that their screams are like turned into a, a brazen bull's bellow. Alright, sanity's all good. Now is there anything around here? What I can see. I don't see any tinder boxes. Now, I think what I might do, um, I think what I might do is, if I do go back to get all the tinder boxes for an achievement, I will actually download a bunch of maps onto my phone to like look at them and like figure out where stuff is. Yeah. Now, what do, what do I do next? Exit the brazen bull room and move forward, still hugging the wall to your right. When you have to choose between going right and going straight, go straight until you reach the edge. 
I'm sure I'll know what that means when the time comes. I do like that they actually place down tinder boxes around here because they know that people are going to want to hug the wall to avoid too many encounters. That's good thinking. So, when you have the option to continue going right or straight, go straight instead. I, I'm going to be honest, I really don't doubt in my mind that I missed a tinderbox somewhere earlier in the game. And I, I don't know why I'm like so set on all the tinderboxes. I guess it's because they're so simple to collect that you'd think it wouldn't be too hard a task to do if you just go into the game, like, for the first time in a while. Okay, it said, when you have the option to go st straight or right, go straight until you reach the edge. I'm going this way. I think we're okay. I do have two laudanum, in case something was wrong. So we have poison gland, the remains, now we just need to fight today. Okay, um... Move forward with the edge to your right until you reach a bridge and slowly cross it. I really am curious what this what this would all look like. Um, with all the settings turned down to their lowest. I'm sure I might be able to see. I don't know. Is there anything over here in this corner? There is not. Move forward with the edge to your right. Until you reach a bridge. Didn't I go right? I definitely went right, didn't I? Um... Said, move forward with the edge to your right. Wait, no. I think by your right, it probably means like, fit like in the direction from when I first entered the room, like the choir. So, is there like a bridge over here then? I don't know. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's not. Like, you have to be exceptionally careful in this room.
I'm gonna test something real quick. So I tried out some of the settings and it didn't make the fog go away. there. Go away, please. I moved to another spot. Isn't he gone yet? Okay. We're good. We're all good. Everything's fine and chill. Everything's all good and chill. Alright, in about half an hour... Um... I will, I will be called to lunch, maybe even a bit earlier. Everything's good and chill. Nothing's being missed before I proceed to get the fuck out of here. I don't think I'm missing anything.
foot. Oh, it's just a bone? Okay. The thick liquid spread across his tongue. He swallowed excessively to consume every drop. He looked through the window with the widespread force in the morning sun. Will this ever end, he thought. I'm just glad we got through the choir. I'm good. Okay. Thank you everyone for watching this, this episode of Amnesia, The Dark Descent. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more content in the future, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell. And I'll see you next time when we head into the transept. The fear had begun to drown him again. He reached once more for the empty bottle of laudanum. In frustration, he smashed it against the bedpost. Till next time, everyone.